Hey, what's up guys, Z here. Now in this video, I'm gonna be taking a look at this browser right here. It's called Opera Neon. Now this browser that I'm opening up right now is actually made by Opera. Now this is it, this is pretty much how it looks like. This is the interface of it. And this is their browser, which they're pretty much testing a bunch of stuff with, and it could actually be a browser that they will continue with. So now, right now, it's unfinished, but it still works perfectly. I mean, if you ask me, I've, I've tried uh, going and browsing a few sites with it. Now, just to give you an example, first off, let's open up some of the apps here. So first off, this already comes with it. Everything you see here, I've opened up the web browser, and this is what shows up. So I'm going to go ahead and click on, let's click on Facebook. And as you can see, it pops up. It is a little bit smaller here, but it does have a side tab, a side bubble here, so that you can close it anytime you want. Now, if you did want to leave it, if you did want to, sorry, minimize it, you would just minimize that, and it would still be open there. Now, if I would open up, let's say, YouTube, I would get another bubble right there. So it's kind of cool because you can switch to uh, a bunch of w different websites that you're on just from the right side as opposed to the top. Uh, one of the cons with that, uh, I suppose, with having the stuff on the side here is the actual screen is a lot smaller. So anyway, anyway, let's go ahead and check out if it actually plays any videos. Let's go to my channel. We'll play, just play this video right here. So I bought the Google card. So it does work. Streaming does work. Uh, everything works so far. So everything that I've tested with. Games uh, let's go ahead and close that up there. And minimize that. So again, you have all these websites here. Uh, some of the, you do have some cool features. So let's say you're on a, a tech site. Or say you're on any website. Um, let's say a website that has images. So let's just go to Google Images. And... Go into the image section. Now let's say I wanted to cut out a piece of uh, something. I wanted to cut out a piece of a photo, a piece of a photo or a piece of a website or some text. You have a cool feature here. It's a snapshot feature where you basically, it's right here on the left side. You would click on it. Now we would darken up the screen and now you would crop an area. So you would click and drag any area. So say I wanted to capture this area right here. I would click and drag until, until I have the uh, picture that I want, I would just let go of that, and it would automatically save it into this into this icon right there. So now if I go ahead and click on that, I have the picture. So I have this one right here from The Verge, which I did before, and I have this one right here at Google. So I can go ahead and view that, and it's actually right there. So that's, that's, a, that's a cool thing that, that I have there. Uh, it's not the clearest photo, so as you can see, it is a little bit messed up, but this isn't the completed project yet, so they're definitely gonna have some changes there, I, I hope so. So let's look at some of the other features we can we have here. So let's close that up there. Now we have this plus right here. I guess that is Okay, so that I guess that just takes us back to the home page. Uh, this little play button here. So this icon right here actually shows you what's playing. So if you were if you were playing a song from a different website like YouTube or something like that, you would actually click here and it would have the song playing so that you could close it. Uh, what else now on the bottom to the left side right here? We have the settings here is where you can you can access the settings You can create a new window. So let's go ahead and open up a new, a new window and we'll see how that looks like So as you can see we have two windows now and that is actually slow when I do that. So if I Wow, that is very slow. Okay, let's close one of these windows here So again, this project is not finished yet. So that could be why they're still working on some of the bugs and the glitches um new incognito window let's check that out okay that is going really really slow too and i have a pretty decent computer so let's close that as well okay so that is the incognito window um all right let's leave that i suppose and we'll just go into more tools so we have the clear browsing data and then under that we do have settings so within settings let's check it out and again it's going very slow when i open up the settings so let's wait a little bit for that Okay, there we go. So we have some of the settings here. Open open the timeline, continue where you left off, open specific page. Not much here. Let's go to show advanced settings. 
So here's where we can actually play around with some of the settings like the passwords and the forms, autofills, HTTPS. We can choose the download section where you want all the files to download and then we have the hide uh, reset settings. So that's pretty much it with this web browser. So that is uh, Neon, Opera Neon. I will have a link to that in the description if you guys did want to download that to check it out for yourselves. So that is going to be it for this video. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, I'll catch you guys on the flip side.